Are the Texas buses on the way to Bloomington? And if so, are they prepared? Good Wednesday evening. I'm Tyler Lopez. And I'm Janice Repholtz. Thanks for joining us at 10 o'clock. Now, Madison Porter talked to Mayor Mboka Milambwe and a city council member in tonight's top story about the ever-evolving immigration problem. Madison? Tyler and Janice, migrants to central Illinois. It's been a hot topic these past few weeks, but Bloomington's mayor says they are planning for all possibilities. First of all, it's a very complicated uh, situation. Last week, the McLean County Board rejected an effort to ban the use of tax dollars to support migrants who could come to the community. Would have been maybe more acceptable to explain that the county does not have financial resources. Mayor Mboka Mulambwe says tight resources always spark discussion, but he says whether the people of the city like it or not, they already have a few migrants and they're going to need your typical services like housing and health care. For council member Donna Bolin, that's where nonprofits come into play. So as far as city resources or tax dollars, it would be limited, if at all. Both, though, worry about the if and when a large group arrives. Bringing in 100 brand new immigrants and the logistics of um, trying to absorb that would be a challenge. Mayor Molambwe didn't offer a specific place where they could stay, but he remains calm about the possibility. Rather than having um, a, uh, an immediate, uh, you know, visceral reaction, uh, maybe let's sit down and let, let's think about, you know, how could this be an opportunity for the community? Both city leaders say immigrants also offer an opportunity to bolster the workforce. But Bolin is tired of what she calls a political football. It's not just the Texas governor. It's not just Pritzker. You know, it's the federal level. They should actually sit down and, and find a solution. Councilmember Boland says Bloomington does not have a welcoming city ordinance, but in 2021, the city joined the Welcoming America Network, so city leaders can reach out to new arrivals without asking their status and provide services to make them feel comfortable.